Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to watch Better Call Saul season six, episode nine. As the previous episode, Lalo is dead, and I really can't wait to see what is happening after that. So before I start to watch this episode, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So here we go. That's unnecessary. <laughs> that transition. this place well Kim never gonna be the same uh, well, no, we can forget. that was actually really great opening Después del ataque, Lalo me llamó. Escuché la verdad de sus propios labios. Él mandó a los asesinos, no los peruanos. Mire a Fring a los ojos. Allí verá la verdad. El pollero lo odia. No me parece que él no merezca una respuesta. Estas llamadas de Lalo. No. Pero me han dicho que ustedes vieron el cuerpo de Lalo. Yeah. Sí. Estaba quemado. ¿Y qué me dice de esa rata? Varga. ¿Qué dijo antes de morir? Él dijo que los peruanos le pagaban los odios. Dinero. Encontramos las cuentas bancarias. Bueno. Ya es tarde. Don Héctor. Lejos. Esta noche duermes en mi cama. No, insisto. No hay discusión. Te estoy dando mi cuarto. Y quién sabe, a lo mejor unas de las chicas te visitarán. Oh my God. Buenas noches, Aito. Quitaría que te quedes también, Gustavo, pero... No quiero que me arruine el desayuno con él. Ay, ay, ay. Don Juan ah, Face. Cuando te miré los ojos, el odio. Oh, shit. Un poquito no está mal. Siempre y cuando no te olvides de quién manda. What a fucking scene. I really love this. The doc left these for you. In the event that you made it back alive. Tell me about the lawyers. Well, they spent a full afternoon with the cops. Played it as they were told, maybe a bit better. The APD consensus is he walked into the ocean and killed himself. Mm. Without a body, they can't close the file. But for all practical purposes, it's over. When can construction resume? That could take some time. Start today. Holy crap. What was that? Oh, of course, but the, the bottle itself is. You'll appreciate this. I'll be right back. There's something happened with that moment. Is Gus Fring like that man? Mr. Gordon, you don't know me, but I'd like to talk about your son. My son? What happened? Maybe we could talk face to face. I'm outside. What about my son? I'm sorry. He won't be found. It 
was over fast. No pain. You were there. I was there. Your son made some mistakes. He fell in with bad people. But he was never like him. Not really. He had a good heart. You won't have to worry about the Salamancas. The day is coming. You used to kick that, right? Put in an appearance that still doesn't seem real. I mean, I expect to see him charging down those stairs with a big grin on his face. No. This is probably the last time any of us will be in this building. Why is that? Uh, HHM is downsizing. Changing their name to what? Bruckner Partners? Something like that. End of an era. Yeah. This is literally the end. Have you spoken to Cheryl? I uh, think we should go up there and pay our respects. Yeah. Jimmy. Uh, so. This is gonna be the last time we see the HHM. The building. There is something actually. Oh shit. You two were the last ones to see him, weren't you? Uh, oh my god. I guess so. Oh, that's what the police said. Howard told me that you were harassing him, playing elaborate pranks of some sort. He told me as well. Um, I think he honestly believed it. You're denying it. Howard started pounding on our door. He was very upset. What's going on about Why well, I'm so scared? Now. He thought it was my fault. Uh, Howard was not on drugs. That simply is not true. There's something more to this. All right, please, just spit it out. And Howard was there at his desk, head down, and he was snorting something. I didn't know what to do, so I just walked out. And the next morning when we saw each other, neither of us said anything about it. You were his wife. You, you saw him every day. You knew him better than anyone. You would have known. Please excuse me. Her sister's here somewhere. I'm, I'm gonna go find her. Holy crap, Kim. She is handling too well. Would you care to supply any detail at all? Oh. Your Honor, I'd prefer not to. It's impossible for me to continue with this hearing. And why is that, Ms. Wexler? Because I'm no longer an attorney. Oh, shit. Sorry, what? I gave notice to the bar two hours ago. Don't tell me that Kim gonna divorce Jim. I know. Okay, what? Why? Why? All right, all right. I know. Forgive. You can't just. Jimmy, I, I just let me say my piece, okay? Just you give them everything you've got. Who are they gonna find who's half as good as you? No one. They need you. It's already done. Oh, find a new place. We're gonna leave here. We're never ever gonna come back here again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put it behind us. Things will look brighter. This is gonna I guarantee be it. But first, we have to fix this. Jimmy. Oh my God, she's leaving. I have had the time of my life with you. But we are bad for everyone around us. Other people suffer because of us. Together, we're poison. Jimmy. No, Kim. You make me happy. We make each other happy. How can that be bad? This is about power. Okay, what happened to him wasn't on us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. And I, I told you that all of us lied. The real reason I didn't tell you was because I knew what you'd do. What would I do? You'd, you'd blame yourself. Fear for me. You'd want us to run and hide until you were sure I was safe. You would pull the plug on the scam and then. And then, uh. We'd break up. And I didn't want that. Because I was having too much fun. Yeah. 
court, so. So we are actually now in the timeline of Breaking Bad. At least I'm glad that Kim is not dead. Because a lot of people assuming that she probably dead as the reason why she never appeared in Breaking Bad. But I know she's not dead. We're finally here. We're finally in this time. I mean, you can tell from the hair. I'm so excited. And I'm so glad that Kim is not dead. Alright, let justice be done. Though the heavens fall. Holy shit. You know, I'm actually really thought that Kim, the reason why she's never appeared in Breaking Bad because she left Jimmy, you know, but because a lot of people assuming that she's probably gonna be dead and then I kind of think the same. But my first thought is that Kim is gone because he's left. And I was right. Even though a lot of people telling that she is gonna be dead, I kind of believe that. But I'm so glad she's not. It's just really sad for the relationship Jim and Kim. Like, they both really happy together. But it's true, they are kind of toxic. They kind of ruin everyone's life, especially Howard. But they really, really great together. They are actually soulmate, but you can you can see how Jim is so scared losing her. If I was Kim, I will never be the same after that incident, and I really want to leave. I mean, she's really close with Tower, you know. I'm actually really excited for the rest of the episode because now we actually in the timeline of Breaking Bad. Holy crap! I really can't wait because a lot of people are saying that we're gonna see the cast from Breaking Bad because the end of Better Call Saul is the beginning of Breaking Bad. Even though it's not a rumor who's gonna appear, they actually make it official. They should not do that. It's supposed to be a surprise, but they did that. And I really really glad that Kim is not dead because it will be so bad. You know, the first time I thought that she is leave not dead and I was kind of right even though I changed my mind because a lot of people telling she's going to die like Nacho and Howard but so far Howard's death is just really shocking because I have no idea I didn't see that coming at all Lalo and Nacho I see that I saw that coming but not Howard seriously the moment when Rich tell them Kim and Jim about this is the last time we are in the office it's definitely because that's actually the last time we see the H&M office because we're not gonna see that office anymore they changed the name I don't exactly remember but H&M office is gone and that was that moment is the last time we saw it I don't know if we are gonna see Kim again I think that's episode is actually the last time we see Kim Wexler I don't know I think we are not gonna see her anymore that's actually the goodbye for this couple and I'm so fucking glad she's not dead so yeah for episode left really can't wait what's gonna happen and what is happening to Saul Goodman you know after he has a new identity you know after that whatever happened in Breaking Bad and yeah I really like that Mike telling the truth about Nacho to his father so he knows what is happening to his son you know give the man closure it's real sad Jim and Kim is really great couple and the way they said they are happy together and the way that Kim said the reason why she didn't tell Jim that Lalo's still alive because she's afraid if they are breaking up but still, they are breaking up I feel like that was actually the last time we see Kim Wexler in here that the rest of the episode we are not gonna see her but I hope we are gonna see her again, I don't know but I am feeling strong that that was the last of Kim Wexler really excited to see the rest of the episode
because we are in the timeline of Breaking Bad. It's just I really miss that hair, you know, Saul Goodman hair. I really can't wait who's gonna appear in the rest episode, what's gonna happen. Tame. I'm really excited, but I'm sad too because this one of the best shows. I hope they're gonna end it well, just like Breaking Bad. Alright, so that was my reaction for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it, and see ya!